Okay, quick overview before I start it up. This is an FSL 200 two-cylinder four-stroke running on around about 20% nitro. It's mated to a Revo 3.3 gearbox, got two-speed forward and reverse and a brake. Um, also running, well, I've got four servos on here, one for the steering, one for the throttle and brake, one for the engagement of forward and reverse, and another one to start it. Um, but you don't really need to do that. There's another way you can do that as well. But basically this is the 1.8 scale um, Defender. I've used it with my single cylinder. I'll leave the playlist up here if you want to go check it out. But it's pretty cool. Now you can make this either way you want, but uh, you know, it's a lot of bit of tinkering to get it working, but you can do it. There's proof right here. Now I've printed uh, this here as well, um, it's just so it's got a better, doesn't want to suck in any dirt or anything, debris. Now I've learnt my lesson from before, nothing actually went wrong, but just it's good to have an air filter. Just put these temporary tubes here for the exhaust so it doesn't keep. Um, sticking and splattering all oil and stuff over the electronics on this side because that's where everything is. I'll give a bit of detail. I just want to show it running first and then I'll show how it works but it's pretty damn cool. Everything's connected. This is about the third tank I've put in this at the moment. So I've got uh, automatic start on here. Well, automatic but push button. So basically I just push this and it will start. This is for forward and reverse and left and right obviously throttle here as well. I'm ready to go. So if I just push this button The second gear just changed, so it's got two speeds and that's adjustable as well because it's a Revo 3.3 transmission, you can adjust it if you want. Now I've got to do some fine tuning on this motor, it's still running a little bit uh, rich, so I need a couple of takes into it, but it still works. Second gear, just controlling the one hand, there you go, second gear. Second gear again, so depending on your crawling and what we want to do with it, I guess I reckon we could crawl with it. Brakes still work, as you saw. We take change of second gear. got plenty of torque, it's got 0.9 of horsepower this little motor. As you see. Got a spoil from the start. So it gets going, that'll be cool like a little drag car. So it's definitely got enough uh, ball to and horsepower to move it around. Don't forget guys, this is a crawler, so it's uh, not going to be for speed. And you can always change the ratio on the clutch bell. tank here on the left, so you just here that's the oil coming from the motor. And it's got a little oil pickup at the front of the motor just here. A little tube that runs all the way around and it collects in here. And when that's empty and it's full up and it's empty, that's the job. Pretty cool, huh? All right, quick run with the body on. Um, just Daniel Hernandez, his channel, I'll leave a link down below, made this air cleaner because he's done the exact same setup with his double E, so go check out here his channel. This body is perfect for that because you can access everything, the fuel tank, the oil tank at the back, and also around here, plug in the batteries, and the other one here as well for the receiver, so pretty damn cool. Once this is started, that battery doesn't need to be connected either for the plugs, but uh, yeah, it is what it is, but let's start her up. Pretty cool. Like I said, a lot of work still. Shocks need a little oil in them. Uh, steering needs to be fixed. 
That's a work in progress. Has a lot of power. Picks up the front end. Definitely not supposed to be a speed demon in this car anyway. The body rolls like the real thing. Leak soil probably like the real thing as well. But it's just a lot of fun. <laughs> See a change in a second then. <laughs> a body roll. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> sounds sick though. I keep thinking it sounds like my Moto GP bike. <laughs> Trying to film one hand and drive one hand. That's in second gear. It engages really early. I don't know if you can pick it up. Oh, Successful. Let's go check out the tent. Idling nicely. bring it back in there and now uh, we'll, we'll go through it a bit and I'll show you a bit more of in-depth and now uh, yes we well I'd call that a pretty damn successful first run guys what do you think look this is not for everyone leave a comments down below what you think of it yes brushless crawlers are better superior no doubt about it even brush crawlers I've got plenty of them but that's not the point the point is trying something new having some having fun doing it because I myself love tinkering building new things and uh, well, I like that actually more than running them sometimes. To be honest, I love building Tamiya kits, for example. But it works really well. Check out that. It looks like it's meant to be there. Just got to fix up the hood. It just hits the hood. I need to trim it down a little bit. Or what I think will look pretty damn sweet as well. It's going to just cut this out like a muscle car and have the head exposed as well. Good for cooling as well. Um, but the fan actually does work. So no problems there whatsoever. Um, if you want more to this guys links will be down below I'll leave the playlist like I said for the single cylinder version I'll leave the links for the motors as well I've got the uh, the Revo 3.3 gearbox from Jenny RC on eBay along with a lot of other little linkages and stuff like that as well
A little bit toasty, you can cook an egg on that. This body, I'm not too sure if they make it. If I have the link, I'll leave a link in, uh, the, in the description as well so you can go click on it. But it's perfect, one eight scale, a lot of room for activities because you do need a lot of stuff, like I said before, you know, the batteries, the servos, the fuel tank, the oil can, you know, the reserve. Well, you don't need that, you can just have it straight going out the bottom, but it's pretty messy and I think that just looks so much neater. If I flip it around the other side, yeah, this is just a perfect body for it. I've got to do an exhaust too for it later, but uh, this is better than just normally just shoots out all over on the motor here, the, that's a brushless starter motor and on the electronics I don't really like that but uh, that looks better so if you open the door here there is a Revo 3.3 transmission, you don't need to use it but it's awesome two speeds forward and reverse and it's got brake as well which is the main thing look at that mesh still perfect so really good, there's my receiver and there's the brushless ESC for the motor and the starter, starters for the glow plugs just to keep it ignited when you start it and like I said before you can disconnect that battery if you want but the runtime's not too great on these that smaller fuel tanks that doesn't really make a deal this server here is for the starter so I can do the remote start it flicks this and that's what causes the ESC to uh, fire the little brushless motor for the starter and that's pretty much it but still work in progress guys I like it next step I want to do is an exhaust fix the steering and the um, as you can see the bounciness there this oil is coming from, oh just leaking from the bottom of the body here where the exhaust pipes just pull out you know what look cool as well? putting two holes in here and the exhaust just comes straight out the side there anyway, let me know what you guys think please like the video, share it, I want, I want people to see this, I think this is awesome um, share it around, like it and if you haven't please subscribe I uh, really appreciate it, heaps of cool stuff coming up not just this but heaps of other new models as well and um, yeah guys let me know what you guys think. Cheers guys, see you in the next video.